Yo, what's up guys, Eki here. Welcome to how to do all leaks and puck handling tutorial in NHL 23. I will show and tell everything very quickly in this video, so feel free to slow down the video or go back on something if it goes too fast for you. Also, everything I'll tell is with a left-handed player. With the right-handed player, everything is the same, but just mirrored. Let's pop the controller in the top right corner. Everything in that controller happens a bit earlier than what you see in the screen. As you should know, right stick side to side, you can puck handle. Also, in your forehand, you can do the up and down movement as well. If you press right stick back, you do a slap shot fake. And if you go up, you shoot. Toe drag, this is only done by your right stick. Rotate your right stick from right to left or left to right. You can do this from both sides. One touch sticks. Only use your left stick and L1 for this. You do this by just tapping L1. The side you have your left stick towards when you tap L1 is the side where your player will do the dig. You can also do a similar move but as a windmill. This time hold L1 and tap your right stick to the direction you want to do the dig towards. You can also do one touch digs while standing still. Again tap L1 and the direction you have your left stick is where your player will do this move. You can do the windmill standing still as well. Hold L1 and tap right stick to the direction you want to do the windmill towards. Jump dig, hold L1 and right stick up. Not sure what this is called, but let's say skate dig. Hold L1, tap right stick down to do the dig. Use your left stick to control which side you want to do the dig towards. Then I call this the Barkov. Put the puck behind your back. Hold L1, you can release right stick at this point and just tap down on the right stick to do the dig. You can kind of do this from the backhand as well. This time just hold backhand, hold L1 and tap down on the right stick. From the backhand version, you can kick the puck to the other side as well. Again, use your left stick to control which side you want to do the dig towards. Between the legs dig, you do this the same way as you did the Barkov, but tap your right stick to your backhand side not down. Puck behind your back, hold L1, release everything, tap right stick, backhand. Spinorama, easy, just tap L2, use your left stick again to control the side you want to do the dig to. I'll teach you some back skate movement as well. So hold L2 to skate backwards. So how to control your player better in the L2 movement? First of all, your guy always turns your back the same way where you have your left stick when you start pressing L2. So moving up same time as I press L2, Left stick right, and my guy turns the back there. And I have a huge tip for you. When you hold L2 for a bit and then let go, you can do this Kale Makar side steps, as you see what my player is doing right now. You can actually do something different as well. When you combine this with the axe button, so at the same time you press L2, you can tap the axe button as well. With the L2 and axe button at the same time, I feel like your guy is easier to control this way with the back skate. Mess around with both tapping L2 and then tapping L2 and axe, and see the differences. And I use L2 and axe in every game I play a ton. So at least for me, like, just protecting the puck, it helps a lot. Let's continue with the digs, right to the deep end, <laughs> behind the back dig. So the entire time you're doing this dig, you have to have your left stick a bit to the forehand side, but up. So with the left-handed guy, 11 o'clock, and while you're doing that, Puck behind your back, hold L1 and tap right stick, right to left quickly. And again, there's a similar dig from the other side. Exact same thing, but this time we're holding our left stick at 1 o'clock with the left-handed guy. Holding backhand, holding L1 and tapping right stick from left to right. Shot fake, tap the right analog stick, and you can combine this to the datsuk. Right after you tap the right stick, pull down on the right stick to get the datsuk. And from the datsuk, you can pass, shoot or flip it with R1. Then, I don't know what to call this, body fake. Without pressing anything else, hold L1 and tap your left stick, left or right. You can combine this to the Kucherov. When you do the body fake, do your backhand side, start holding your right stick to the other direction. Then the Michigan, it's a lot easier to hit this year. Hold forehand, hold L1 and press right stick down. And while having your right stick held down, circle your analog stick from left to right. You do the new Seekers flip the exact same way, but before you start circling your analog stick, hold R1 and you get the Seekers flip. Off the board digs, hold L1 while you tap R2 close to a board. You can also do this behind the net and in the open eyes. Puck between your legs, hold L1 and hold down your right analog stick. You can also pass, shoot, source it or even pull it back from this. One-hander, hold backhand or forehand, tap L1 and R1 at the same time. Protect the puck by holding X button. Final one. This is kind of a custom dig, but while you backskate, have your left stick at 11 o'clock, put the puck behind your back, tap R1 and release L2 at the same time and you can get this nice uh, custom spinorama off. There's all the digs in NHL 23. If I forgot something, let me know in the comments. But when you learn all these digs, you can start combining them 
and uh, just try them out in game and you can pull off some nice combinations. But remember, most of these digs you never really need in game. The simpler stuff works <laughs> most of the time. More tutorials coming soon. During the first month of the game, I will have all my tutorials out. There will be a strategy tutorial, how to score tutorial, how to defend tutorial and uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> if there's anything else you would want me to uh, teach you, let me know. Everyone have a great day and see you next time.